Hi, everyone. My name is Madhumita, and um, I'm a native Tamar speaker, and I'm going to be representing the language Tamar in this video. And I also speak uh, Hindi, Urdu, and English fluently, and I am a huge linguistics nerd. Hey, my name is Hana. I'm from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Um, so I'm the representative for the Malay language today. I speak Malay, it's my native language. I speak English, and I actually can also speak like Arabic, Turkish, and Brazilian Portuguese. So it's not like super fluent, but yeah, I, I, yeah, those are the languages that uh, I'm actively engaging in currently. Awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> that was wonderful. Um, So I just want to explain for the audience what we have planned for this video are a bunch of words that uh, you're going to read to each other. And throughout the video, if you ever get stuck on a word or something, you can help each other out, give hints, uh, you know, whatever works. Uh, sometimes try to change the way the word is pronounced, like play around with it and see if that works. And then in the end, we're going to do sentences. Okay. All right. So if you're all ready to go, we're going to start with the first uh, Tamil word whenever you're ready. So go ahead. Okay. okay. So the first Tamil word is kappal. Kappal? Yes, kappal. Is it like ship? Yeah, that's correct. Kappal does mean oh. ship. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> that didn't wow. even I thought it would take a second like, I have to give hints like but that's yeah that's perfect that's yeah couple well, so the first Ready. Malay word would be uh, misai misai I'm thinking it's either table like tam meja in tamar is table is that not right oh wait you use table as meja yeah meja is table <laughs> yeah oh okay uh, okay, so Misa is not major, but we do use major as well. Oh my god, it's crazy. Oh yeah. Okay, Misa. Oh, that my second guess would be mustache. Misa in summer is exactly, mustache. Exactly. Yep. Exactly. Exactly. One hundred percent. Yeah. Ah, that's crazy. How there's two similar. That's two words. That's that's <laughs> I did. So, yeah. So the second Tamil word is katil. Katil, is in bed. Yeah. Yes, as in bed. Katil is bed. Yeah. <laughs> Katil. Yeah. I mean, we it's it's a very common word. I mean, yeah, we use it every day. So like Katil. So the next word for Malay is Kuldai. Can you say it again? Kuldai. Oh, I'm thinking of um Kardai, which is donkey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. It oh took me a minute. Yeah. Can you say the word again? So um how you said it is like I could catch it a little bit, but it's karday. Karday means donkey in summer. Kar karday. Yeah, so kar karday. Kar I yeah. see. Yeah. It is a bit heavy on the L part, so like kolday. Yeah. Yeah. So the third word would be mutire. What? The third word, uh, I'm gonna say it again, is mutire. 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 Mutrai, yeah. mutrai, mutrai to, yeah, mutrai. to like a, a, an agreement, like to agree on like an agreement, something. Um, well, it's with, it's not too far away, but it's it's you're overcomplicating. Mutrai. What happens mutrai. like if you agree on something and you want to like yeah. certify it? <laughs> so like in the. I would say like we will always say like perjanjian di meterai, but this is usually like in the old Malay. So perjanjian di meterai is like the agreement has been agreed upon, you know. So what what would kind of you do to agree with it? Like what is that thing that you do like blank the deal, seal the deal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like yeah, uh, that actually makes sense because maybe you know back then like people would like you know use it seal or stamp so it means yeah so it actually means yeah the the agreement has been sealed yeah the meterai, meterai. yeah that's how you would say in Tamil, <laughs> but it's also not used it's not used on a daily basis like i've just i've just seen it you know like in the news because it's very formal tamar on the news so the third malay word would be logam 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 Okay, I'm thinking of two words. It's logo means either world, like people around you, or, or the second one I'm thinking is ulogam, which means uh, metal or like alloy or metal. 
<laughs> okay. So the fourth Tamil word is pinga. Is that what we say? Sorry. And th- the fourth Tamil word we say it as pingan. Pinar. Pingan. Pinga. Pingan. Pingan. Oh, a plate. Is it? Yeah. So that's close. Yeah, you can. Say, we say it. Uh, it's just. Um, but in Tamil, it's used for ceramic, like you know anything that's ceramic. So uh, th- that's correct, like porcelain, right? Chinaware, right? Yeah, porcelain. Yeah. But I, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Anna, you can correct me if I'm wrong. But in in Malay, you just use it only for a plate, right? Like yeah, when... yeah, we use it for plate and like for ceramic and stuff. We just call it as ceramic, you know. So oh, yeah, because in summer it refers it's, to yeah. the the main, yeah. It, uh, sorry, it refers to the main plate that we used to, you know, eat rice and stuff. Uh, so the fourth word is peti. Can you say it again? Peti. Peti. Um, <laughs> does it mean like a little box? No? Peti. Uh, it does somewhat means like box. It, uh, it, it's not really about the size, but uh yeah okay it, or like any size yeah but is it is it either luggage or suitcase or just like a carton or a box uh it's like maybe a container like a chest or a box it, it, yeah that's it, like it a carton be, yeah like a wood carton yeah. would yeah uh but not tea. not not the not the carton like the carton is made of uh the, the brown thing right yeah so we call it yeah. a box that, that is a different way which is kota but peti is uh yeah something like that like what, what about in some tamil Okay, so Tamil peti is just you can say it for any box, but we say it for like wooden wooden cartons peti. Or my family, uh, they use peti for um luggage as well. But I don't know if that's just something my family says, like their dialect, their um, I don't know if it's I... just their dialect. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, peti is usually it's just a box, and we can say like even for small boxes if it's in my room, my dad will say peti, or like if it's a carton because right now we're moving, we say. Cardboard boxes, atta pati atta is cardboard, so pati. So we say it for lots of kind of boxes. It's mm-hmm. very general term. So, yeah. it, it can be used in many contexts. So for example, like when it uh, when it refers to chess, it's for example, pati harta karun. Harta karun is treasure. You know, the wealth of karun, you know, karun where he was swallowed. Uh, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So literally in Malay, we call it uh, karun's wealth. Yeah. The chess of karun's wealth. That's so, but then if you use like peti ice, it becomes fridge. If you use peti surat, it becomes mailbox. If you use um peti undi, it becomes ballot box during the election. So it's just like very undi, random. yeah, undi, yeah, yes, that's what we call undi is what we call <laughs> a ballot box. It's like a box with a slot, undi peti, because undi is also used for you know in temples or like place of worship where they have um donate the donation box <laughs> that's also called yeah, undi yeah. it's a wallet like a ballot box is also called undi undi or undi petti yeah, same thing yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah so yeah oh my god like, uh, that's mind blowing so i guess petti is something like maybe something more sturdy compared to a box where you can just like tear the petti is something that you cannot tear i, I mean that's the something oh, okay. that i can think of uh, so yeah the word is kadai Kadai. Sorry. If I can soften the. the uh, kadai. 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 Is it could could I? A uh, shop. Sorry. Oh, yes. Yes. It's a shop. That's correct. Ah. Okay. Yeah. Because like when you say kadai, it reminds me of kaldai, but we also have kadai, which is shop. So. Yeah, it's kadai in Tamil. Kadai. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Yeah. The fifth Malay word uh, is kuil. Can you say it again? Kuil. Kuil. Is it a quail? A quail? Um, yeah. Like well, the bird? The... Like the, like the uh, bird or? No. Nah. Quail. Is it a temple? Kuil. Yeah, 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 yeah. Temple, yeah. temple, yeah. Okay, yeah. quail, yeah. Well, I don't know why I thought quail, which means like a quail in, in Tamil. Oh, yeah. the, the quail word, yeah, yeah, no, no. It's yeah. Ah, yeah, so it's like, is it common to, you know, call the Indian temple like quail in Koil, Tamil? yeah, quail is, quail. We say quail in Tamil, yeah. Or quail or quail. So, this uh, next word, 
uh, this is the next uh, Tamil word, the sixth Tamil word. I just want to mention one thing about this is the way that it's used in Malay is a little bit different. But once you hear it or you, you, you know the definition, you kind of see the connection between them. But anyways, I'll let you read it and then you guys will, will see. So Hana, you just say what comes to your mind as soon as you hear this word. But okay, go ahead. Okay, the next word is tunai. Tunai. Tonight. Tonight. Yeah. Tonight. Uh, yeah. <laughs> tonight. 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 As in like money, cash. In summer, it means like help or companion or an aid. Is tonight like someone oh. to like like someone that you send to help you out for something? Is tonight like an aid or a companion that you just would send? Like if I'm going to the store at night, my mom would be like, "Your brother's a tuna, you just take him." Or your dad, go with us tuna with your dad. Like as it, it's like a help. That's how it's a, it is in Tamil. All right. So the sixth Malay word is manikam. Manik. Oh, manikam is like a gem in Tamil, like a a pre precious gem, right? Yeah. Is yeah, that is yeah. that what it is? Gem. Yeah. 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 Oh my. God. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Achy. Huh. Ache. 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 Uh, I, I, I can't to, recall. To give you a, a hint, Ache. like just to give you like a very small hint, in Malay, there's a, an extra letter at the end. So you add a, another letter. Achar? Achar? <laughs> that's kind of food a chuan is it like a uh, mold yes correct yes oh, oh, oh a chuan a chuan yes we just say achi in tamar yeah like a cookie achi. cutter my mom calls those achi like a cookie cutter right <laughs> you know once we make those like little like christmas cookies but my mom would call ah, that yeah, achi yeah. it's exactly a mold yep yeah ah, there is it's okay. used in tamar yeah so the final malay word is kuda Can you say it kuda again? Or kuda. 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 Is it like a nest? No. No. Kuda. So in Tamil, it's a little bit longer. Like you have a little more added to the end of it. <laughs> okay. Is it. Is it umbrella? No. <laughs> no. Think of an animal. Kudrai, kudrai, right? Kudrai. Uh, is it a horse? Yeah. Yeah. Kudrai, kudirai or kudrai. In in spoken Tamil we say kudrai, but in written Tamil it's kudirai. I see. So in spoken yeah, Tamil it's kudrai. Kudrai, yeah. Kudrai, but yeah, in so written it's Tamil it's kudirai, yeah. Okay. Yeah, because spoken Malay is kuda. So like kuda, kudrai. Now we're going to move on to the uh, more challenging part. Each sentence will have a word that is in common. So you might be able to just pick up the word right away. And that can be like helpful for you to just through context. Maybe you can figure out another word in a sentence. You never know. We just talking and having through our conversations, we already found other accidental similarities. So anyways, you work through the sentence and see what you can figure out. But if, if it becomes too challenging and too hard after like tips and some hints, you can just translate the sentence. Okay, so my sentence is Tala Mele Topi Irku. It's Tala Mele Topi Irku. Tala Mele Topi is hat. Irku. Irku. Yeah. Irku. Is it Topi? Is, is that the word that we're looking for? <laughs> yes. Yes, yeah. What's the awesome. rest of the Tala Mele Topi Irku? Tala Mele Topi Irku. I, I, I have no idea. I don't know. You're saying it good though. Uh, Tala means head. So since the rest, I guess it's too different. Like, that means uh, on the head, there is a hat. There's a hat on the head, basically. Ah, Tala, Tala Mila, Topi, Yerke, Topi, yeah. yeah. Hat, yeah. All right, Madamita. Uh, so, Tolong Tutok Tirai Itu. Can you say it again a little slower? Uh, tolong. 
tutup tirai itu. Or, Did I mean tutup curtain? Tirai. Did I mean curtain? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did yeah, I get that right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can you say this sentence one last time? I'm going to try and guess because I got curtain okay. right. Tolong tutup tirai itu. Does it mean wall. there's a curtain on the window? Uh, no, not really. Uh, yeah, no. No, so, I can't guess it. Or did you nah. close the curtain? Uh, yeah, 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 like, please close the curtain. Oh, please close the curtain. Yeah, like, tolong is please, so. Please, tolong is please, okay. Yeah. Awesome, but yeah, yeah, you picked up the word right away, so. It was awesome, thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah, I'm so happy that I was able to be part of a video because, like, I remember for an assignment, I had wanted to, I had to look up some similar to the, like Sanskrit and Persian, and that's how I found your channel. And I was like, oh wow, okay now. And then I learned so much from that video. Like, it was the most like interesting video. Like, I, I thought it was so interesting. So thank you so yeah. much. Thanks, thanks for. I'm I'm happy to hear that, and thank you for for being a part of this. Um. Yeah, I think this is very interesting because I don't really have this um exposure towards like this uh South Asian and like Persian kind of like connection and stuff. Yeah. Um. Uh, there are a lot of Indians here in Malaysia. Of course, they are Indian Malaysians. They speak Tamil, but yeah, I think it might be time for me to learn even more Tamil because <laughs> like yeah, yeah. Like, turns out there's a lot of similarity. Um. The reason why I started to learn Portuguese is because you know. There's so many similarities between Malay and Portuguese as well, since you know they first colonized here. So, yeah, it's a uh, it's a very good uh, enlightenment, I would say, for me. So, yeah, thanks a lot. So Bahadur and another Nadu interesting for... thing is awesome. um in Sri Lankan Tamil, like a lot of Christians in Sri Lankan Tamil have similar words to Portuguese because the Portuguese colonized, for example, shoes. They would say zapato for shoes. Sri Lankan Tamils will say that because in Portuguese zapatos mean shoes. And yeah. uh, pan is bread. But, they would you say for the, just the two I can think of. They would say for bread. They would say pan, which is bread. Oh, uh, pan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> so, I don't know. That's yeah. a random thing. Sri Lankan Tamil uses words. So it's, it's always really, really interesting to find these connections. So I just again thank you so much for being a part of this. I think it was a really wonderful video, and I enjoyed it a lot. It was it was interesting for me too when I was doing the research. I as I mentioned to you, I learned quite a lot. Uh, and I'd read more about the history. So it's really interesting. Thank you again.